Hello ladies and gents, hope you're well, hope you had a fantastic day so far. Uh, today we are going to be doing a brand new behind the scenes video and Luke is helping us today, so big shout out to him. Thank you ever so much to him. But we're off to the race course in about 15-20 minutes and uh, we're going to be filming some fireworks and some live music and I wanted to share that process. I'm going to be shooting on the same rig as I do normally, which is the GH5 Sigma 18-35 and Rode Video Shotgun Microphone. Um, it's been a very interesting day so far because I've also done another production at the same time in the day, which is always fun. I love to a day um, but that's what we get for doing lovely amounts of work which is fantastic so we're now going to cut probably to when we're at the race course and uh, having lots of fun filming the event so Luke's job will be filming me filming the event and then potentially helping um, as well with a couple of BTS shots um, or actually second shooter shots as well so hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you very very soon but I'm just hoping that the queues aren't too bad right now I mean gates aren't even open technically yet road clue Look of it, which is fantastic news. This is where we come around the corner and there's thousands of people in the way. So this is a bit where I get to be really cheeky. Hello ladies and gents, welcome back. So today, as you can see, we're back and we're actually at the race course. Um, we've just done a little scout around, we've said hello to security so they know we're here, etc, 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 etc. And uh, now I'm actually going to do some work. Um, Luke's done a lot of filming. I haven't yet, so we're going to do basically some establishing stuff, um, celebrate and showcase what's been set up, and uh, then film some fireworks, and hopefully then get it out later on today. But by the time you're seeing this, it would already be out, and I'll link it in the description down below if you're interested. So uh, I'll see you very soon. So I'm just literally just looking for some contact shots now. So we've we've literally just done a lot of like people coming in, showing the queue, getting some establishing stuff to show we're at the race course. Um, and now I'm gonna get some building establishers with some people in the background. And then we'll slowly make our way towards the live music when it's meant to kick off in about half an hour or so. As you can hear. Um, the official act is meant to start. They're probably warming up, I think. Um, just gonna get people having fun, that kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. See you soon. A lot of this is very similar to um, the fair, so I was kind of, I'm very aware of it, I'm very conscious of it. So I'm trying not to shoot just the identical stuff again, but the thing is, it's enough I get to have contacts to show what was here. So we could do a similar thing with like, the burger van and then the other, other like coffee van and etc. as well to show the, it wasn't just sweets specifically, and it wasn't just one thing that you could do. Um, and it's just about getting the feel and the atmosphere and show people having a good time. And then hopefully the finale being the fireworks, which is the main reason why I wanted to come in the first place. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I tell you what, shooting food for this long is making me starving. <laughs> Hello ladies and gents, so we, um, we were just shooting the donut uh, place behind me and I think they ever heard me saying shooting food makes me hungry so we got some donuts so thank you to them if they're watching but um, an interesting thing really happened because as you can see a lot of this is really dark so I haven't been shooting on a filter but I brought it because uh, Ninja Zones filter allows you to cut down the amount of light so you can keep your f-stop really low so this lens will go to f1.8 and the reason why is it gives that depth of field 
But I actually found that there, or all of the stalls actually, were way too bright inside to shoot wide open without a filter. So I'm very glad I bought it. But it was just something that I noticed and something that you need to be aware of if you're going to shoot an event like this because there's certain different light levels everywhere. So everywhere where I'm not shooting inside to a very lit area, I'm not going to use the filter because then I have to crank my ISO to get the same exposure, which means ideally you're not going to get as clean of an image. But yeah, that's that. So hope you enjoyed the vlog. Oh, I just realized I've got no audio at all. That's exciting. Welcome back, ladies and gents. So um, I just filmed a couple of children and close face shots, and I wanted to go over it again uh, because I went over it in the fair video that we linked up uh, up here if you're interested. But it's always good to always double check to make sure you double check with the parent because the first one I filmed, I asked, um, I got the shot, then I asked the parent. And I said, I just explain what I'm doing, I explain what I'm trying to do and what I would like, how I would like to use the footage. And it's about just being courteous and the lady said actually would you rather I, you didn't use that footage or essentially then I just deleted it um, and that's just about a level of respect because this is a public event they're just trying to have fun um, and of course we're trying to do our job so just something to think about moving forward if you are looking to shoot one of these events and you are uh, looking to get hired to shoot one of these events as well uh, it gives your client a lot more of a you know focus and a, an understanding that you are not going to quote unquote take the piss or be in a situation where you could cause them some level of liability but uh yeah take that with whichever pinch of salt you want and uh we'll see you soon gents i hope you can hear me and i hope you're well uh we've literally just finangled our way up to this larger balcony that overlooks a lot of the crowd and the music that you can probably hear behind me and uh, we're just getting ready to shoot the fireworks we've just been discussing because ideally it'd be good to have a silhouetted shot of me with some fireworks um we'll see what happens i, I don't know what's going to happen fireworks are a pain in the ass to shoot because there's never enough coverage no matter because shows don't last that long Mostly shows last between 10 and 20 minutes max, and uh, yeah, that's that. So enjoy, and uh, I'll see you. I'll see you at the end. Welcome to the end of this video, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, that was that was us shooting the race course. I thought I would end it whilst the fire was going up behind me. And um, I've got more than enough coverage of it. And uh, thank you to Luke for this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave it with a like. Love for everything in the comment section down below. And uh, hopefully you can hear me. But if you would like to hear how we can help you uh, with 
If you're using the power of video to showcase what you do and how you do it, then find my information somewhere around this video and uh, I'll see you very, very soon.